Hey, each day this week we're sharing a few devotional thoughts, and I wanted to talk to you today about burdens. I don't know what's burdening you, uh, but I know this, that Jesus speaks to everybody who feels burdened, and he says, come to me, all of you who are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And so if the burden that you're carrying today is a burden of, of anxiety, maybe about your health or about finances, um, you might be carrying a, a, just a heavy, heavy burden about your past, um, something that you've done or that has happened to you. And if that's the case, then Jesus is speaking to you and he's saying, come to me, come to me, all of you, that means you, who are burdened and heavy laden, and he will give you rest. And really what this passage is encouraging us to do is to hand over to God all of the things that have been weighing us down. And so I want to speak about um, why that's a wise thing to do and then how to do it. So it may seem at first that that's irresponsible to just, well, cast all of your cares upon the Lord, to unburden yourself and to give all of your burdens to him. But actually, it's probably the, the smartest. In fact, I think it's the absolute wisest thing to do. And I have a, a quick story to, um, to illustrate. Uh, some years ago, I, I got a coal stove that I wanted to put into the basement of my house. And I got the coal stove up to the stairs that went down into the basement. And there was no way I could carry it down the stairs. It was just, it was far too heavy. And so I tried to find different ways that I might be able to lower it down into the basement, a pulley system. And all of my ideas actually um, didn't work. And then my brother came over and my brother said, well, I'll just carry it. And he lifted up the coal stove. He strapped it onto himself and he carried it down the basement stairs and put it into the basement. Now, if I had tried to do that, the coal stove would have crushed me. I wouldn't be here today. And I think for many of us, we were trying to carry a burden that really is, is crushing us, killing us. And Jesus, who is mighty and powerful, is saying, come to me and let me take it. And so let me tell you how to do that, how to give your burdens to Jesus. Well, it begins just by saying, Lord, it's too much for me. It's too heavy. And I want to give this to you. And so you speak to Jesus in prayer and you say, Father God, I give to you my burdens and my anxieties about my health, about my finances, about my past, my worries about the future. And you say, Lord, I give these to you and now I want to follow you. And then we have something to do, and that is to actively follow Jesus, to actively follow him, to live our whole life for Christ. And so I want to challenge you during this time when perhaps you have a little bit more uh, space to think about how you can speak to Jesus and hand over to him every burden that you have and to receive from him his, his burden, which is easy and light. And that is the burden of living for and with Jesus. Thank you.